Please be seated. As academic registrar, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the Cambridge Corn Exchange for this evening's Anglia Ruskin graduation ceremony, where we will celebrate the success of the class of 2017. The tradition of graduation ceremonies dates back to the 15th century and it is a tradition that has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step. And graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, 
where they will use the skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of society. Each graduate will cross the stage and shake hands with the Deputy Vice-Chancellor to signal their transition to this new role. And we will applaud them for their success so far and in anticipation of their contribution to society in the future. At the end of the ceremony, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates to the community of scholars. And as new members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession and that will bring the ceremony to a close. During the ceremony, those receiving higher, degree or higher research degree awards will have their hoods placed upon them by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor to indicate that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. So it's almost time for us to begin our formal proceedings, so I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session, and I call upon the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address you all. Deputy Vice-Chancellor. Graduands, family and friends, colleagues, as Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, it is my very great pleasure to join you this evening at your graduation ceremony. And firstly, to all of those graduating today, my congratulations on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. Today is a day of great celebration. It's an opportunity for each of you to take stock, to reflect, and celebrate your achievements to date, but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change to implement new ideas and new ways of working. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills and the confidence to influence and lead that change and to make a real difference to your professions and to your communities. 2017 marks Anglia Ruskin's 25th birthday at the university having been awarded university status in 1992. And that recognition was an important milestone in a history that started way back in 1858 with John Ruskin's inaugural address at the opening of the Cambridge School of Art. And through all of that time, our institution has been dedicated to harnessing the personally and socially transformative power of education and to widening participation to include as broad and diverse a student body as possible. During the past quarter of a century, more than 140,000 people have achieved a higher education qualification from Anglia Ruskin, studying courses from architecture to zoology. And we are also proudly a regional university committed to serving our region and helping maximize the economic, social, and cultural well-being of the communities we serve. And we can only do this in partnership with a wide range of organizations right across the east of England in the public, private, and charitable sectors. And growing and deepening these links is a priority for us in the coming years. As well as being our 25th anniversary, 2017 has been a very successful year for Anglia Ruskin. We were delighted last month to have maintained our position in the top 350 universities in the world, that's according to the Times Higher World University Rankings, where we are for the second year in a row the highest ranked of all of the UK's post-1992 universities. We won the Duke of York Award for Business, sorry, for University Entrepreneurship at the Lloyds Bank National Business Awards. And we were ranked by The Economist as one of the UK's top 50 universities for securing a positive financial return for our students. Last month, we received confirmation from the General Medical Council that we have successfully passed the final hurdle in our journey to establish a school of medicine at our Chelmsford campus 
And just last week, we were given the keys to a fabulous new £45 million science centre at our Cambridge campus. Our academics continue to undertake and publish cutting-edge research into real-world problems of regional, national, and international importance. Highlights of the past year include internationally significant work in areas such as the global burden of eye disease, improving the resilience of buildings in earthquake zones, and the use of music therapy in supporting young people with autism. But above all, we are proud of the achievements of our students. This summer, for example, Molly Smith was named Student Paramedic of the Year by the College of Paramedics, while Beatrice Sajo won the VNA Student Illustrator of the Year Award. And fellow students on our MA in Children's Book Illustration came first, second, and third in the prestigious Macmillan Prize for Illustration. As a university, then, we define our success by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your support as our newest alumni. So please spread the word about your university. Help us build new partnerships with your networks and your professions. And above all, please stay in touch. Before I close, I would like to pay special tribute to your families and friends who have provided you with their constant support throughout your education. You and we owe them our sincere gratitude, so thank you. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues from across the university for their tireless commitment and professionalism and their enormous contribution to all aspects of your courses. So, once again, my warm congratulations to you all. I do hope you have a fantastic evening. I wish you well wherever your Anglia Ruskin degree takes you. And please do stay in touch. Our success and your success are now inextricably linked. And Anglia Ruskin University would not be where it is today without you. Thank you. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, thank you. We now come to the formal presentation to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of those receiving awards today. And I call upon the Acting Dean of Faculty, Dr. Peter Crabtree, to present to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor graduates from Anglia Ruskin University's collaboration with Arden University, Coventry. Dr. Crabtree. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduands from Anglia Ruskin University's collaboration with Arden University, Coventry. For the award of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Common Law, for Milo Everbowen. Samadhi Garrison. <laughs> Clement Anokru Unoabiri. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Charlotte Suzanne Beddows. Marat Kaliskan. <laughs> Vanessa Chikazunga. <laughs> Chris Dixon. <laughs> Leon Muscat. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Mobile Communicating, Masudur Rahman Khan. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Information Systems, John Boot. <laughs> For 
for the award of Master of Science, Information Technology, Daniel Colo. Jamsias Thakam Polil. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Psychology Applied, Linda Day. Nicola Hoare. Anna Lagan Gay. <laughs> Vanessa Mogay. <laughs> Barbara Sapos. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Maxine Cameron. All the way to in James. <laughs> Natalia Andrea Martinez Tavares. <laughs> Roxanne Millington. <laughs> Graham Peverell. Rachel Tanner. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Human Resource Management, Nora Fraser. <laughs> Sukvia Kerr Kabli. Rebecca McCabe. <laughs> the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Tourism, Nazaran Victor Akpila. <laughs> Martha Anastasu. <laughs> Clara Brown. Luke Disabella. <laughs> Clarissa Fernandez. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Marketing, Samantha Charles. <laughs> Natasha Haley Newcomb. Ludmilla Temchenko. <laughs> Laura Upson. <laughs> Karina Wagner. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration, Emmanuel Obiri Addo. Shana Louise Chandiwana. Uh, Amani Shigalo. Sandra De Jong. Christopher Geimer. Shereen Hosni Mardi. <laughs> Sally Nanya Musa. <laughs> Chandrani Naiko. <laughs> Carrie Ann Rice. Priyath Kishan Sinundan.
the award of Master of Arts Strategic Human Resource Management, Vijayta Gurung. Vijayta. Oh, sorry. Apologies. Okay. Vijayta Gurung. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. For the award of Master of Business Administration, it's uh, Joy Weber. For the award of Master of Business Administration Project Management, Martha Imoni, sorry, Cho Chioma Maureen Nawobi. Martha Imoni Ogashi. For the award of Master of Business Administration Finance, Janika Gretsch. <laughs> Tony Cladison. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emmanuel Apuru Korteng. <laughs> Harold George Camille. Nakaya and Mabimba. <laughs> Alicia Rodin. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration Law, Maria Celas Alatel Miranda. Anna Davis. <laughs> Paul Forrest. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration Marketing, Trudy Hearman. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration Service Excellent, Nikita Nabba. Abel Tesfai. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Engineering Management, Howard Middleton. <laughs> Deputy Vice Chancellor, that partially completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Dr. Crabtree, thank you. Each year, Anglia Ruskin University makes a small number of student leader awards to individuals to recognize, celebrate, and reward exceptional contributions to Anglia Ruskin University and to the wider community through their extracurricular activity. Recipients have shown exemplary leadership, skills, and demonstrate that their work has benefited their fellow students and the wider community. Of over 10,000 graduates each year, Anglia Ruskin awards six of these awards. I would now like to call today's recipient, Sophie Petromovic, onto the stage, please. And I now call upon Dr. Emma Kaminsky, Senior Lecturer and Acting Deputy Head of Department in the Faculty of Science and Technology, to read the citation for the Student Leader Award for Sophie Petromovic. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to read the citation for Sophie Petromovic, Student Leader Award. Sophie Petrimovic, graduate of our BSc in Abnormal and Clinical Psychology degree, is one of the Vice-Chancellor's student leaders for 2017. 
During her time at Anglia Ruskin University, Sophie has taken part in a variety of extracurricular activities that have been of benefit both to herself and the wider community. As the communication and social media officer for the Harry Potter Society, Sophie has worked hard to increase the profile of the society. Sophie has spent time fundraising for charity, organizing a quiz for Mind and a bake sale in aid of Jimmy's Night Shelter. She has also taken part in a sleep out to raise money for a May House, Cambridge. Sophie has spent time volunteering in a Mind charity shop and was responsible for de delegating tasks and training new volunteers. Sophie has also been heavily involved with Student Minds, the UK student mental health charity, both as a volunteer peer support group facilitator and in setting up and becoming president to, of the Anglia Ruskin Student Mind Society. In this role, she has campaigned to increase awareness amongst students of issues surrounding mental health. As a student volunteer for Student Minds, Sophie was dedicated to founding and facilitating mental health peer support groups on the Cambridge campus. The project received the Volunteering Project of the Year Award at the 2017 Student Union Awards. Sophie was a big advocate for the Student Union's Let's Be Honest campaign, helping to support students with mental health issues and promoting ways to improve well-being. As a result of her outstanding commitment to volunteering, Sophie was awarded volunteering honours in the 2017 Annual Students' Union Awards. Sophie, we are very proud of you. Well done on being recognised as one of the vice Chancellor's student leaders. Many congratulations, Sophie. We now continue with the presentation of those receiving awards today, and I call upon Acting Dean of Faculty, Dr. Peter Crabtree, to return to the podium to present to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Science and Technology. Dr. Crabtree. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it's my pleasure to continue the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Science and Technology. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Psychology, Zakiai Dilem Alaka. <laughs> Emily Elizabeth Alderton. Joe Alexander. <laughs> Gulsha Alva. <laughs> Benjamin Anderson. <laughs> Eliza Anne Marie Arn Arellano. Louise Rachel Armstrong. <laughs> Diane Arroyo. <laughs> Edna Ashama. <laughs> Alice Bailey. Abigail Barnes. <laughs> Emma Bates. <laughs> Lorenzo Bediti. <laughs> Olivia Nicole Bell. Olin Consola Bolatiwa. <laughs> Ma
Amy Bradford. Andrew James Brooker. Monika Badarfaki. Maria Chakava. Joe Chapman. Benjamin Roy Chapel. Amanda Chichero. Ambar Chowdhury. Rebecca Clark. Sean Cleeton. Adam Cooney. Lucy Rebecca Coote. Renata Kovash. Holly Joy Downing. Bryony Driver. Amy Folgate. Georgina Farmer. Nezrin Femi. Georgia Few. Lauren Carla Gibbs. Jennifer Marianne Godfrey. Also receiving the British Psychological Society Award, Sarah May Gradage. Jade Heath. Lauren Hilton. Bethan Humphreys. Ellie Jackson. Neville Ochiang Jalango. Priyajir. Ellie Jeffrey. Charlotte Liberty Jones. Rian Sibold. Nadifa Kusa. Bromwen Kearney. Shakina Kelsey. Hope Few. Angeline Hu Fen Lee. Rebecca Lee. Hannah Louise Mann. Caitlin Emma Martin. Yvonne Matunda. Sophie Carolyn McCoy. Grace McGowan.
Richard William Morgan. <laughs> Jessica Moss. <laughs> Megan Irene Muckelhay. <laughs> Sophie Nicole Murphy. Prashodan Naidu. <laughs> Abby Nealon. <laughs> Luke Nichols. <laughs> Melanie Nielsen. <laughs> Sophie Nizinski. Alice Snooth. <laughs> Shauna Brown. <laughs> Brittany Onrat. <laughs> Eleanor Louise Page. <laughs> Druvi Patel. Damini Patel. <laughs> Reeve Peters. <laughs> Amy Cohen Phillips. <laughs> Henny Pulkinen. <laughs> Pauline Ray. Michael Riggins. <laughs> Elena Robertson. <laughs> Nicole Louise Robinson. <laughs> Lydia Rodriguez. <laughs> Emily Jasmine Russell. Ricardo Sacripanti. <laughs> Nicole Saunders. <laughs> Bayan Perim Sekman. <laughs> Katia Serra. <laughs> Emily Shepherd. Yasmin Shikara. <laughs> Victoria Mary Ann Slater. <laughs> Jack Spacey. <laughs> Ellie May Taylor. <laughs> Nithu Maria Thomas. Jennifer Angel Andrea Threadgold. <laughs> Zoe Turner. <laughs> Jamie Theo Vincent. <laughs> Victoria Erica Wager. Georgia Whitbread. Victoria White. Shiona Whitmore. Emily Wilson. Ella Wiseman.
for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Psychology and Criminology, Folashio Shokan. <laughs> Megan Biddicam. <laughs> Gemma Lee Chapman. <laughs> Sarah Dean. <laughs> Eleanor Kate Doe. <laughs> Cara Marley Gray. Amy Louise Harding. <laughs> Rebecca Hennell. <laughs> George Patrick Kirby Smith. <laughs> Sylvie Lingley. <laughs> Megan Murphy. Ivana Julia Novakowska. Claire Louise Rice. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Abnormal and Clinical Psychology, Alaya Adenji. Jade Arthur. <laughs> Sophie Butramovic. <laughs> Simran Chana. <laughs> Joshua Jacob Coleman. Jasmine Lee Davis. <laughs> Alice Mary Diston. <laughs> Dana Freeman. <laughs> Julia Gavronska. <laughs> Jack Goddard. Also receiving the Stratec Prize, Anouk Guru. <laughs> Eleanor Rose Hanton. <laughs> Madison Page Harrod. <laughs> Dina Mohammed Salah. Kira Kenny. <laughs> Beth Kathleen King. <laughs> Kerry Ann Lewis. <laughs> Charlotte Montgomery. Thomas David Myhill. <laughs> Ali Hassan Nadi. <laughs> Anna Gabriella Palladina Palatus. Jessica Louise Rutter. Samuel David Stewart. Hoi Ying Wong. Jade Rose Workmaster.
for the award of Master of Science, Applied Positive Psychology, Glenda Ann Papworth. For the award of Master of Science, Clinical Child Psychology, Safina Aslam. Salma Bai. <laughs> Melissa Marie Coleman. <laughs> Sahir Farouk. <laughs> Francis Knott. <laughs> Nicole Prudhomme. Jessica Molly Rose. Rose. <laughs> Anthea Samiria van der Pija. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Research Methods in Psychology, Hesisha Al Shalan. Holly Nicole Kulfier. <laughs> Jennifer Dello. <laughs> Gail Egerton. <laughs> Sean Stewart. For the award of Master of Science, Cognitive and Clinical Neuroscience, Lareda Grace Fisher. <laughs> Marina Mansour. Marian. Oh, oh sorry. Marian Isaac. Apologies. <laughs> Marina. Marina Mansour. <laughs> Demut Munadumbo Nuyuki Amiyu Shila. <laughs> Lena Marie Mello Galvez. Oh. Uh, Pejman Zufashan Moghadam. <laughs> Deputy Vice Chancellor, it's my pleasure to present those who've been awarded higher research degrees. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Conceptualization and psychometric validation of a new measure of ambivalent homo prejudice towards gay men, Ashley Scott Brooks. Deputy Vice Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Dr. Crabtree, thank you and well done, everybody. We are now nearing the end of the ceremony, but first I would like to ask Ricardo Sacrapante, one of our wonderful new graduates, to come to the podium to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of all of those receiving awards today. Ricardo.
Vice Chancellor, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, fellow graduates. I'm glad to stand here today to deliver the photon thanks for myself and on behalf of all the graduating students. I would like to remember this important day not only as the end of our degrees, but also as a reward for the hard work, the effort, and the commitment that we dedicated towards our studies. First of all, I would like to include and to thank the senior staff, the lecturers, and the technicians for offering us such an engaging course. Attending your lectures has been vividly inspiring for us, and the passion for the subjects you deliver made our course at Angela Ruskin University intellectually stimulating. The teaching role you currently cover represents a crucial figure for the development of future graduates. Also, I would like to include in my list of thanks the people working behind the scenes at Angela Ruskin University who made, it, who made this experience possible for us. Though my list cannot be exhaustive, I would like to thank the people in admin, the librarians, and the staff at the restaurant, and especially the cleaners, who made it possible for us to study in a such a tidy university environment. Thank you all for your essential but often hidden work on our behalf. Studying without the encouragement of our families and friends would not be the same. Therefore, today I would like to extend my thanks to those people who have witnessed our sacrifices and provided us with the invaluable support. During these few years, some of us might have gone through some uncertainties about their studies and future. By sharing these uncertainties with a family member or a close friend has often made us feel more determined in completing our degrees. Today, I would like to thank you and recognize you as a fundamental part of our academic achievement. And our last fellow graduates, congratulations to you all. The long hours we have dedicated to commuting, attending lectures, and writing our essays have finally paid off. From my side, it has been an honor to study in such a rich and multicultural environment. On behalf of Angela Ruskin University, I sincerely wish you all accomplish future plans without forgetting to be happy with your own life. Thank you all. Ricardo, thank you, and well done. I should now like to call for one final time on the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address the new graduates. Deputy Vice-Chancellor. So now, will all those uh, who have been presented to me on stage today please stand? As Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to your degrees, diplomas, and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the ceremony, and I hereby declare proceedings closed. Can I now ask everybody to stand for the academic procession?